you know, you want to make sure your content is tagged correctly and in the right areas and you want to use the right keywords and make sure. Hey everybody, this is Nick Ponty from nickponty.com and offlinesharks.com. Now, one of the most profitable skills that you can have is being able to look at a website or a business's presence online and be able to tell why they are not doing well. Earlier, about 10 minutes ago, I just taught my team in my office a great way on how you can get started doing that. And in this video, I'm actually going to take you along for the ride. I actually recorded the entire thing. So you get to sit in as a fly on the wall within my agency and hear us break down the steps on how we do a little site audit and get started with looking at these businesses and how to improve their performance in Google search. So if that is the type of topic and video that you're into, make sure to destroy the like button below this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And let's get into the video. Basically, you know, we're not seeing any indexing of this site, right? It's sagecounselingandcoaching.com. We have some content. We have a lot of content on the website. Just looking it over. We've got blog articles. These are the terms that I would be hoping that we were ranking for right now. But I do notice that like, if you look at some of these articles, you know, they're, they're difficult, right? Um, sex and porn addiction is obviously a difficult keyword especially because it's a national keyword, you know, free addiction resources, substance abuse. A lot of people compete for those terms because they're they're worth money, right? Like for rehabs, there are a lot of high valued rehab centers that are probably targeting those types of keywords because people that are searching for help with those problems are looking to go to rehab and pay maybe a lot of money or insurance money. Another thing that we need to check off the list is that, you know, they have a Google business listing, right? Which we can see we have a pin here. There's no reviews. So that's something we, we can write down. Maybe you can help me create a little list for this, L, like some to-do things. This would be like a to-do thing on the client side. You know, we'd message her and say, hey, you know, one thing that would help this is to get a couple reviews on your business listing and then give her a direct link to that, to leave a review for her clients so she can send that out to her clients. I question whether or not the site itself is actually ranking, like Google is picking it up and indexing it within the search engine. So one of the things that I do is I use a search operator. I'm going to copy the URL of this website and I use a search operator, which allows you to find out what pages Google has seen and are already indexed within their search engine. What you're looking at here, this is the title tag. This is the meta description. The title of a page is usually what that page is supposed to be about. So your keyword should be about that. This is our title. The main keyword here is like recovery coach. But let's look at the actual page structure itself and see if you know the on-page optimization is is set up decently. So Minion's a good one. I have that one too. And if we pull up Minion, it will tell us some of this on-page SEO. So this page, the home page, it's saying that the title of this page is Sage Counseling and Coaching, which is good. If you're going to rank for like a, a more specific term, like as a most profitable keyword for your main homepage, you might want to change that. An example of that would be for my website. Like it's good to rank for your brand. It's totally fine. Here's an optimized version of a brand title. I have my brand name in it, and then I have these other keywords that I want to rank for. And, and in those keywords, you also have location because we're trying mm -hmm. to rank in local SEO. So an example of a good title tag for this would maybe be you know, addiction therapy in Everett by Sage Counseling and Coaching. And then we had that some variation of that as well in the description. Then when Google crawls this page, it's going to think that it's about that. If your brand name is original, then the quickest win for you is to come in and take your brand name and rank for that. Us being the SEO company, we've already done that so far, mm -hmm. which is good, right? Because we've mm -hmm. taken this website from being brand new. We built this website and uh, we have the business pin there as well. So that's good. The other thing, if you were in this area, mm -hmm. Everett, Washington, where they're located. So if I wanted to find out like addiction therapy in Everett, that would be a term that people would be looking for, for this company. So this is something that they would like to be on this first page for. I don't see them here. And I know that that's a competitive term and that's probably one of their most difficult terms and competitive terms that they're going to be ranking for. 
this keyword has this geographic relevance to it. I think that the, what's missing from this page to start in terms of mm -hmm. on-page optimization is more of that. Look at this. So in between this, this H1 and H1 tag, Google is seeing this H1 tag, which is the most important headline on a page. Mm -hmm. And what it's seeing is a uh, respectful solution focused therapy, but there's no geographical relevance to it. You know, so that could be something that we could optimize a little more. You know, we could say mm -hmm. solution focused therapy in Everett. And then H2, you can see Minion is picking up the H2 saying services. Again, this isn't optimized very good at all. It's just services. If we have a page, I'm going to show you an example of what a website should be about. So if we have a website about mm -hmm. plumbing, plumbing in Maui, we want to rank this homepage for plumbing. So the title is going to be the best plumbing services in Maui right? Because mm -hmm. we have this term here with Maui relevance. The next most important thing that Google's going to see is this first headline. That's going to have some importance to support the title. So if your main term is, you know, plumbing services Maui. So right here you have a variation, right? Not an exact match. It doesn't say plumbing services Maui. It's plumbing services mm -hmm. in Maui. It's very close. But in your next tag, you want to have something that's another variation that's very close as well. So you could say, something like this. So it's not the same exact thing, right? Not plumbing services in Maui, but Maui's best plumbing company. The, the same thing for the next one, right? Plumbing reviews. You know, maybe you have a section on the page that's about the reviews of this company, you know, testimonials. Yeah, testimonials. What people say about our plumbing service or what our customers. What I usually do is I usually do a title, an H1, and then like three H2s. Mm -hmm. I really don't do a lot of the H3s or H4s. You don't really need to. So another variation could be like, and this on-page SEO is really the, the framework for where you start. So if you don't have this, mm -hmm. then you're, you're not going to get anywhere. It's very important that you get this first. And when you start to get back some of the data in like month one, month two, about mm -hmm. like where you're ranking, right? You're like, okay, we're, we have these keywords that are being indexed now. I'm looking at the ranking, they're being indexed mm -hmm. and they're not like on the first page, they're in the third page. But first of all, Google thinks we're relevant for that stuff to some degree. Mm -hmm. How can mm -hmm. we make ourselves more relevant? And that's why like SEO is an ongoing thing. You know, you start throwing paint up on the wall. You make sure you have these base levels of optimizations. You look at the data, you move mm -hmm. up a little bit, and then, then you start to compare yourself, you know, who's, who's above you. So let's say we start to rank. We've got the good on page. We're on page two or page three. Maybe we get to page one, right? And we're in the eighth position. We're down here, but we're trying to get to here. Mm -hmm. So the easiest way to get to here is by looking at who's there and seeing what they're doing mm -hmm. and then try to do it better. And if I look at their other information, do you think that this website is doing SEO? Oh, yeah. If we started to rank and do all those things that we've already been discussing and mm -hmm. we find ourselves stuck or trying to get at a higher level, but we know that we're indexing and all that, then we start to look at like competitor analysis and we mm -hmm. do what they're doing and we try to do it better. And you know, there, there are more things that come into play, but we're not going to get anywhere unless we have this on page stuff mapped out correctly. So for the first things on this page, I would definitely fix the title description, the tags. The next thing we'd have to look at the, the overall content. With that being said, for a new website, you want to have at least 500 words of like this kind of text on that homepage. And mm -hmm. if you could have a thousand, the better. The problem is, is that it doesn't look very good to just have big gobs of text, mm -hmm. which is why a lot of people don't do it. But if we added a section here somewhere, something that wasn't too, too, it didn't look too crazy and daunting. If we could throw that on there, Google's gonna say like, okay, there's a lot more information here there, right? Mm -hmm. Especially if we're talking about all the buzzwords that has to do with treatment, addiction, therapy, those things, that's gonna be key. And like I said, usually 500 to a thousand, one of the best ways to do it is to look at, you know, who's ranking ahead of you. And look at this, look how much content they have on their home page. Yeah. If you're trying to rank and you got, you're looking at the guy above you and he has a thousand words of content and you only have 200, mm -hmm. what does that tell you? You should figure out how much content they have and then get that same amount or more. 
looking at this site, we don't even have the minimal. So we need to get that there. And then there's another argument to be made for the keywords that are used with these, with the latent semantic indexing, like the 500 words or thousand words you're using should be about that topic. You should try to use some of your strong variations of that term in there without making it sound too stuffed. There's a tool that you can use to kind of look at what we call keyword density. So how many times a specific keyword has been used on a page. So it's like a percentage. I haven't used that thing for a long time. So if I go to their actual site and topic, I have a login, which I will sign in. Okay, so what I do is I will take my keyword, right? Hawaii SEO. And then I'm gonna go to this website and I'm gonna select all and then copy it. And I'm gonna paste it in here. So that's all the text. And so if I hit the update score over here, you're gonna see how relevant my content is to this term. The green is relevancy and this is like accuracy, like how much we're using it. You should aim for a score of 99%, so I'm a little light. Another thing you can do is competitive analysis, right? Like if you were trying to outrank this guy, you could take all their content, put it in here and see how much they're ranking for relevance yeah. wise. And then you could put your content and see how much you're ranking for relevance wise. And if you're like 10% behind, well then you would look at this section on the right hand side, which gives you the keywords and the LSI keywords. And you can go through your content here on this page and start adding those terms in, in various areas. Like if I just, you know, put Hawaii SEO five more times in here, it's gonna update my score. I'm gonna get a lot more relevant for it. You could use this as a tool, as a guide to put your keywords in and different LSI keywords in throughout your content, update the score and kind of like boost your percentage of relevance and then go back to your website and then update that content there. I mean, this is pretty much where we will end <laughs> today's <laughs> lesson because I know there's a lot here. My main goal is really to get you into like the SEO mindset and to get your thought process into how Google sees a website and how to mm -hmm. create relevance on the actual page of the website. You know, first you need to make sure the site can be indexed. You know, you wanna make sure your content is tagged correctly and in the right areas and you wanna use the right keywords and make sure you have that relevance there. You know, there's a number of other things to do, but if you don't have mm -hmm. this, you're not gonna get off the starting line. There, There is one final thing that I didn't go through that I'm not gonna spend a whole lot of time on, but I just wanna okay. show it to you, which is that site map. I could probably guess where this one is for this site, sitemap.xml. That's where it usually is. If you go to a website and type in the sitemap.xml, it's usually there. What the sitemap is, is it's a map for search engines to be able to navigate the site and its pages and its hierarchy. If I clicked on one of the files here, it'll show you all of the pages. And when Google crawls this file, it tells it where all the pages are and which ones they should crawl. Mm -hmm. And so you have to turn a sitemap on, like you have to add it to a website or turn it on. Looking at this and the fact that there is one here, which was added by our team is good. You know, I can already see that these are the pages that are indexed and it's one of the initial places that you would look if something isn't being indexed. So yeah, I know I just kind of yapped, yapped and yapped and yapped for a while. Do you have any questions on this stuff? I think I'm pretty clear on this first path through or pass through. I have definitely a better understanding of like everything that goes into at least the tagging for sure. You know, maybe getting those reviews to bulk up the content too, restructuring kind of the wording on some of that stuff. Yeah we're getting like a lot more customers and clients and things. So I think one mm -hmm. of the reason I'm, I'm trying to get this information to you too is because I want to start to implement more quality control, more, mm -hmm. you know, more of nurturing, more checking into our clients and stuff. And yeah. so if we look at the ranking for a client that's been on for three months and we're like, okay, it's not where we want it to be. What can we do? Like, I want you to be able to come in and look at something and be like, okay, here's where we're lacking. Let's do some competitive analysis and let me log into this website and you can log mm -hmm. in and you can mm -hmm. adjust some of this content, right? Mm -hmm. You can make the mm -hmm. adjustments you can rename this and and I think you're pretty familiar with how to do that for the most part right yeah yeah I can definitely go in especially make edits yeah for sure okay. um perfect